Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day look. I want to do something like super glam. Well, glam for me. This is actually the second Valentine's look that I'm filming. The first one was like a more soft romantic look. And then I deleted the footage, so yeah. But I'm probably going to post that look on Instagram anyway so you can always follow me there if you're not already and if you guys really want i can do another video for like a more date night look but this one is maybe more for like if you're going out for valentine's day to a party or a club <laughs> which i don't do but yeah maybe some inspiration for you yeah and if you're not celebrating valentine's day at all and just going out with your friends whatever whatever you like to do so yeah um actually i don't have any makeup on at all right now because i'm actually going to attempt to do my eye makeup first i've never done this before so yeah it might not be so great but i guess we'll find out together and yeah, I think that's all I had to say. So let's just get started. First, I need a sip of coffee. So for this look, I actually want to use my makeup tape. You've seen me use this before. It's from Sephora. Yeah, because I think I want this to be like a super like winged out look. I might even attempt an actual wing we'll see how it goes but i want this to be like a guide so that when i take the tape off it's really like an angled um blend so i'll put this on first i heard someone say that you should line the tape up with the arch of your brow so i'm going to attempt to do that I don't know, is that too low for me? I guess we'll try that. And yeah, this <laughs> didn't have to be that long, but whatever. And now the trick is to get the other piece to look like it. I think that's pretty even. Yeah, we can always fix it later if it doesn't end up the way I want it to. First, I'm going to prime my eyelids. I don't always do this, but I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette today. You've seen this on my channel before. And the last time I wore this, I found it creased like pretty bad. So I want to put this on to see that if it helps to make the shadows last longer. And also like technically this is a look for going out. So you would want your shadows to last long. I'm just going to blend that out with the brush. This brush here. This is a Luxie 150 flat angled blender. So if you can see like it's a dense like duo fiber brush. And we're just gonna go right in with the eyeshadow. So if you guys didn't see the last time I used this, you get this little card that I'm keeping just to keep it like clean, I guess. And this is what the palette looks like. It is really pretty. Um, so I think for this look, I want to use more like these shades here. So I guess it's going to be kind of like a purpley cranberry look. And I want it to be darker than what I would normally do. So first I always start with the cream shade to set my base. Uh, this shade here, Bare. 
I am really glad that the shade is in this palette because I always use a shade like this to set my eyelid. It's just easier to blend shadow when there's already something powdery down. Um, I've seen some people like to put their shadow directly on the primer, but I don't know. For me, that's like too extreme because <laughs> I'm not that good at blending yet and I don't want it, like my shadow to stick down and me not be able to blend it out, you know? So this is how I do it. And for my transition shade, I want to go in with Teddy, this shade here. And I'm going to do like a pretty blown out look, so I'm going to use this fluffy brush from Alamar Cosmetics. And you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, um, this is usually what I do with my transition shade. I apply it like kind of in the crease but also above almost to my brow even because I just like the way that looks for my eye shape. These shadows blend really nicely. Um, this is the only eyeshadow palette that I own from Huda Beauty. I've heard like the other ones are hit and miss, like a lot of people love them but then there's people that are like it's the worst so <laughs> I don't know. I honestly just bought this one because when I swatched it in the store it was just so pretty especially like these marble shades here like these ones that have like chunks of pearl in them. They're just really nice. I think it's pearl. I think it said it's like real crushed pearls or something. It doesn't say on here, but it said it somewhere, I think. And with my first shade, I kind of just put it like wherever. I don't really care if it's super blended because after I go in and blend everything together. And then for my like actual crease, so you know, where your eyeball is. <laughs> uh, I want to use a darker shade and I'm going to go in with this color Spanked. So this one I try to focus it mainly in the actual crease. I don't bring it as high as the transition shade. And I'm just bringing the shadow like directly onto the tape because when I remove it I want it to be like up against there like a straight line this color is not going on as dark as i thought it would be it looks a lot darker in the pan i'll go in with a darker shade after but for my lid i really want to put the shade kinky this one here i want to put this all over the lid this is supposedly a pressed pearl shade so it feels really soft. Yeah, look at that. That's really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with that. I'm just gonna put this on my eye just to see. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was going for. Let's see if this applies with a brush. I'm gonna try it with this brush first. It's like flat pointy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics 112. I don't know if this is a good brush for this, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it's going on really nicely. Well, it did help that I put my the first layer with my finger so let me do that again yeah definitely applies better with the finger but 
I can't get detailed enough with my fingers, so yeah, I think that's good for now. But I do want a more smoked out outer V, so I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is a Luxie 237 blending brush. This was in my December favorites video, I believe it was December. Pretty sure, because I love this brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Love Bite. So this like deep purple shade here. Let's see how this goes. So I'm really dragging this shade out, kind of creating like a wing, but with eyeshadow. Because I hate doing winged eyeliner. And to blend that with the crease here, I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush and some more of the shade Teddy. Yeah, I'm kind of dusting away the lid shade, so I'm going to go back in with that. And I think I'm going to use Fix Plus. Just to intensify it some more. The purple shade is not showing up as deep as I hoped. But yeah, I'm going to put some more of the lid shade down with my Fix Plus. Yeah, that's a lot more intense. And I'm going to put some more of the shade um, Spanked in the crease. Okay, I think it's time to take the tape off and see what happened here. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that actually worked pretty good. But obviously it needs to be cleaned up. I just feel like this side is not as defined as this one. So I'm going to clean it with a makeup pen actually. I have this e.l.f. Um, makeup removing pen. I'm going to do the lower lash line and see if that helps to even everything out. So I'm going to go in with um, the first shade I used, Teddy all over the lower lash line. And I did leave some space here when I placed the tape so that I would be able to connect this wing with the lower lash line or else it would look kind of funny. And then with um, the purple shade. I'm going to put that on my outer corner. And at the same time, I'm blending out the bottom here so that it doesn't look too angular. And with a clean brush, I just want to blend that out some more. I don't know if I like the angle of that. So I will use a makeup wipe to clean that up. I probably should have put the tape on a higher angle actually. But this is why you should do your eyes first if you don't know what you're doing. Because <laughs> that way you can just clean it up. So it still looks a little crazy, but I think it's going to come together, hopefully. <laughs> so for my highlight on the inner corner I want to go in first of all I gotta get my inner corner brush here and I want to go in with the shade daydream so it's this like marbled shade it's like a lilac um, shimmery shade 
And with the rest, I'm gonna go on my brow bone. Just right in the center, cause this is like a glittery shade. Now, I am going to do my base. I'm using my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. Guess I can zoom you back out now. See, that's very glowy. And for my foundation, because this is a more glam look, I'm going with one of my more full coverage foundations. So it's the Tarte, um, this one here, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. They actually don't make this anymore in this packaging. Um, but yeah, this is what I have, so. And I'm just gonna put my sponge right in there. The only issue when you do your eyes first is that you have to be careful after going around your eyeshadow. And for my concealer, I'm also going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. This is in the shade Fair. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. So I'm going to use a brush to get closer, but I'm just going to blend this out a bit here. I feel like <laughs> the lighting is so bright. I don't look that pale in person. For my brows, I think I want to use a pencil just to make them a bit darker and fill in the sparser areas. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Right? Yeah, brow is in the shade soft brown. I don't love this color on me. It's like too warm, but I'm going to put my hourglass fiber brow gel on top. So it should help to even it out. But I do like this for the spoolie on the back. And like I said, I'm going to go over it with my Hourglass Fiber Brow Gel. I have the shade um, Soft Brunette. But this is a lot cooler tone than the brow is. And for my face, I grabbed this. This is the Pure Sculptor Palette. I remember using the highlight um, originator before and I really liked it and I thought like these two colors were way too deep for me but when you swatch them they're not that pigmented sorry like that looks like it's gonna blend out pretty good so I will use this for my bronzer as well and we'll see what happens just so I don't apply too much I'll use my BH Cosmetics duo fiber brush and I'm using the shade inventor yeah that's not too bad and I do find this um, foundation is looking pretty light on me since I do have a bit of tan left so this is gonna help deepen up everything and for the highlight like I said I'm gonna use the shade originator I'm gonna use my Tarte um, highlighting brush this one from the fairy something fairy collection so as you can see this is a more metallic highlight but I chose it specifically for this look because <clears throat> we are going more glam and some down the nose on the tip here Thank 
Cupid's bow and a bit on the chin. And for blush, I chose um, this MAC blush in Blush Baby. It's like a mauve blush. I thought it would go nice with the tones on the eye. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics contour brush like I always use for blush. And then mascara. I'm using my MAC um, O and Naughty Lash because it's the most dramatic mascara I have open right now. So there is the mascara. So for lips, I wasn't sure what I was going to want to do. So I have a few options here. At first I was thinking this um, Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick in Havana Nights but it might be too burgundy I don't know and then for a nude option I have this Nick what is this called pin up pout in the shade corset it's like this that could be really nice. <laughs> and then I have this Anastasia liquid lipstick in Poet. Ooh, that could be good. That's like a very matchy matchy with my eyeshadow. And then I have this Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Uh, I guess this is a liquid lipstick in the shade everything which is a bit more it's a bit lighter yeah i think i'm gonna go with the bare minerals gen nude we'll see how it goes oh this might be a lip gloss but a very pigmented one i guess we'll see i do have lip balm on this applicator is very weird for this type of formula because it's a very thick lip gloss but the applicator is very flimsy i don't know if i like it i don't know i think i want to try the anastasia lip uh liquid lipstick it's just like a bit too brown for this eye look Ooh. This is more purple than I thought it would be. And I probably should have used the lip liner. This is quite dark. But I do like it with the eyeshadow. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I like it. I was trying to do more glam anyway. So now I'm just going to put some MAC. Fix Plus for my setting spray and I will be back to show you the final look. Okay guys, this is the final look. It's quite dramatic but I like it and I haven't done any purple looks yet on my channel so yay. I tried to do like a smoked out wing. But I kind of just, I don't know, the shadows like blended together and yeah, it just looks purple. <laughs> but I like the lid shade a lot and the inner corner is really nice as well. So here's the lip. It is a liquid lipstick so it's pretty dry and it's a bit sticky. When I do this if I was actually wearing this out I would probably put a lip gloss on top but I like the look of it so I'll keep it like that for now but yeah this was just 
out a fun Valentine's Day style video for you guys. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you would wear a look like this for Valentine's Day. And let me know if you are celebrating Valentine's Day, what are you doing? For me, I don't know. I told my boyfriend I just want to eat pizza or pasta or both. So I just want carbs for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!